All right, guys, so we are going to be getting a pretty interesting update coming out to Dragon Ball Legends this upcoming weekly reset. Now, the reason why I say it's interesting is for a multitude of reasons. We're going to be getting one of these three things, okay? Number one, the big summer update. Number two, a free-to-play character which might be hinting the big campaign for Dragon Ball Legends. Or number three, a new Zenkai. I say new Zenkai is because the Sin Shenron is leaving right now and if we do get a Zenkai I don't think it's going to be GT related or at least I would hope not because GT is I think pretty much set in the Zenkai department at this point in time but uh, you never know but I do think that we might be getting one of those three things just to recap a free to play character which is going to be hinting the next campaign for Dragon Ball Legends a Zenkai which can also be hinting the next campaign for Dragon Ball Legends as well as the summer update. So let's break things down, guys, starting off with the Zenkai. Now, we have zero direction as to what the Zenkai could be, okay? I'll keep it 100% real with you guys because we are leaving the six-year anniversary, heading into the unknown. Now, I want to ask you guys, okay? This is going to be a little bit of fun, okay? So I want, to, I want to ask you guys if you had the power to Zenkai your top five favorite units. And I'm just specifically saying favorite. And we're not going to be counting LFs here, okay? So uh, just specifically favorite, because I don't think we're gonna get, we're gonna get an LF Zenkai right now, <laughs> right right off the bat, right? I mean, you never know. It's been pretty crazy. We've gotten already three LF Zenkais, but if you had to choose five of your favorite Zenkais, who would it be? I have a toxic list here, <laughs> okay? Very very toxic. So. Um, let's get into it. And by the way, if you guys do enjoy the video, as always, make sure you guys simply just like and subscribe. And I'll make sure to keep you guys updated as soon as we get more info. We might be getting some info tonight, but for sure tomorrow night, okay? So first things first is the yellow hit. If you guys know how toxic this character was, he was the definition of a glass cannon. You were able to easily 1v3 characters with or teams with this character right here. Of course, he was able to get pretty much just one-shotted, but his critical rates was absolutely insane. And I do think he is a fan favorite to get a Zenkai. I think a lot of people would absolutely love this. And remember, guys, we're not talking about um, specifically who needs it, even though he does need it. We're not talking about what makes sense right now, even though we do have the UI Goku, but he's also kind of, you know, he's other tags. But my point is that, yeah, this character is definitely a fan favorite. If you guys know, you guys know. The next one, this is personally for me. I used to use this character all the time. This is just nostalgia for me, man. Not only do I love Topo as a whole, but this character locks you in upon, you know, um, uh, popping your ultimate, which is really broken because you catch a lot of people by surprise, as well as uh, he has endurance. He was just a very good, fun unit for me. I used to love playing with this unit, and he definitely deserves a Zenkai as well. And uh, yeah, I mean, this would definitely be my my top number two. And by the way, guys, I will say that Dragon Ball Legends has been making Zenkais pretty solid as of late. Not not all of them, but most of them, I would say, or like a lot of them. For example, the Zenkai uh, transforming, um, you know, Kid Gohan. We do see that a lot in PvP, as well as even the Fiku here and there. We do see that a lot in PvP. So they've been upping their game with the Zenkais for whatever reason, right? So this next one's a two for one. I'm going to say either red or blue Zamasu, okay? Either one would be broken. Of course, the blue one would be more broken. But um, yeah, either one of these would be great. I'm just a huge fan of Zamasu and Regen as well. So that's my uh, number three pick. My number four pick, this is definitely a fan favorite. Um, I guarantee you guys, there will be a lot of people in the comments section down below uh, commenting the transforming green Goku Black, okay? This character was used so much when he first came out it was ridiculous i mean the, the love this character has gone ever since his release like for people begging for his zenkai and it's it's been multiple years at this point in time and of course you know there's a time and place for everything okay so i think down the line he will be getting a zenkai because it's probably one of the most requested zenkais i would say okay now another one that i would really love is this yellow transforming jiren right here okay uh specifically the one from the fifth year anniversary now this character right here, he has fell off. I do think he needs a Zenkai at this point in time. Is there other characters that deserve a Zenkai over him? Of course, plenty of other characters. Uh, but I think it would be pretty cool. You know, I wouldn't mind them Zenkaiing um, characters that aren't too old. That way, they're still like, they don't need to touch them up too much, right? They don't need to go crazy on this character, such as a second ear character for example right like that red zamasu they would have to go ham on that character for this character they would have to just kind of touch up his stats and 
add a few uh, things here and there. But yeah, this character here, I used to use him a ton when he first came out. And I love Jaren as well. Um, now, really quick, guys, I do want to say that uh, this might be tying into the brand new campaign, okay? Uh, whatever Zenkai we could get, as long as it's not GT related, that is, right? That could tie into whatever character we have. Um, I do think that either the Zenkai or free-to-play character is going to be uh, hinting the next big campaign, okay, for August. Last August, we got uh, the, I think it was the Namek Saga. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think it was the Namek Saga, then the Dragon Ball Saga. So yes, I think we got Namek and Goku August. So I do think that, um, I think they need to change things up and Nami Goku for me is extremely hype, but for like the general aspect of the whole Dragon Ball community, I'm not speaking for everybody, but it's not like a universe rep, right? Universe rep has a little bit more meat to it. Um, it's a little bit more hype. What I suggested was this right here on my last video, a God of Destruction, um, you know, uh, like a revamp of a tag. They do have the God of Destruction tag, but I would love to see some of these characters such as Vermouth and Jin and stuff like that. I think these characters look really cool. I think it would make really cool for a campaign as well. So either A, to recap, a free-to-play character this week, which is going to be right here on Wednesday, uh, July 31st. So either A, a free-to-play character, uh, either B, a... Uh, I mean, a free-to-play character, either be a Zenkai or uh, this, which is Guild Battle. Now, Guild Battle was uh, confirmed for August, so I don't think we're going to be getting it here. Perhaps maybe here on the 7th, but they might still be updating some small stuff because don't forget, guys, we're not just going to get the Guild Battles, okay? We're going to get we're gonna be getting multiple things, such as the re revamp and the re-upgrade equipment system which is something i'm really looking forward to it took them a long time to do that but if you guys know if you guys are equipment grinders like me you guys know how much of a hassle it is to uh to set your thing to stop at gold slot number one or red slot number one and then having to sit through 30 of those it would be way more convenient to just kind of run through all of them all at the same time um and yeah same thing for the awaken system i hope they revamp the awaken system so we're gonna get that also a new pve hard mode i don't know what they're gonna do with that guys um very curious to see, to see what they're gonna do with that but just to recap really quick the lf should also be coming out here either on the 14th or on the 24th uh 21st excuse me of august so one of these two dates is when the lf should be coming by and the campaign should be getting announced around here like around either on the uh like the weekend right here or on the 7th that's when the new campaign should be getting announced right here but yeah guys comment down below your top five most favorite wanted zenkais okay i gave you guys my top five i'm pretty sure we're gonna have some stuff in comments such as this yellow hit which is a fan favorite or perhaps maybe this transforming green uh goku black so yeah guys i'll make sure to keep you guys updated we might be getting some stuff tonight or as well as tomorrow night okay so i'll make sure to keep you guys updated then and uh yeah that's pretty much gonna wrap it up and hopefully you guys have a blessed day have a good one peace